drink Pepsi, have the opportunity to value. $32 million fighter jet drives home. This is the history of Pepsi, the most insane marketing ever. Just drink 16 million bottles of Coke. To redeem this prize, the threshold is indeed exaggerated, because they never thought. There really is someone who can do this. But it turns out never underestimate the young. So how the hell did this guy do it? Recently Fei Wong made this real story. Made into a documentary Pepsi. Where is my fighter? Invite back current year participants from both sides. Truly restore the ins and outs of this marketing tragedy. The story happened in 1995. The original intention of Pepsi is also very simple. Just drink Coke and earn points. Then use the points to redeem peripheral products. To promote this event, they took a promotional ad. It was normal at first. Just some shirts. Trendy items such as hats and sunglasses. But in order to gain attention, they decided to skin. In the end came a little extra creativity. So a key fighter was airborne at the school. Sure beats the bus. Ordinary people look at it with a smile and pass by. But our protagonist John Leonard. Just not an ordinary person. When John first saw this ad. Get serious right away. He went to check. How much does a key fighter cost? Knowing that it's about 32 million dollars. John's first reaction was. The money it takes to get 7 million century points. It must be much less than this. The chance to change your destiny is now in front of you. John feels the urgency. Since then he has saved everything. Go crazy buying Pepsi Cola. Moving home one after another. But only a week later. He found that this method is not feasible. Because even if you drink 190 bottles of Coke a day. The whole family has to drink for a full 100 years to get enough. John knew he needed a lot of money urgently. Buy out these Cokes all at once. In order to catch up with the redemption time within one year. Thought of a friend Todd. The other party is 20 years older than yourself. Is the local small boss. Itself a little money. And the two met when they were climbing mountains. Both are adventurous. Sure enough, when Todd saw the ad. He also started to shine. Reconfirmed hundreds of times and 7 million points. The key fighter is clearly written. Clear and direct. And more like an ad. There is no disclaimer at the bottom of the screen. Howard promised to help. John did the math for him. 5 points for a dozen Cokes. 7 million requires 1.4 million dozen of these 16 million bottles of Pepsi. Requires 6 large warehouses to store. It is also necessary to hire staff to be responsible for purchasing. Transport and collect points. About 45 people please. It takes 3 months to complete the whole task. The plan seems perfect. But Todd the old fritters. Still pointed out a few pitfalls. First of all, is it legal for ordinary people to own fighter jets? John checked a lot of information. Finally called the Pentagon and asked. The spokesperson there responded that. As long as there is no weaponry on board. Then don't break any law. Then there is the question of realization. What should I do with this fighter after I get it? John suggested that it could be rented to someone else. Like doing an aerial show. Shooting commercials, making movies, etc. Okay. Barely can convince Todd. But coming to the third question. It is also the deadliest difficulty. If the money has already been invested in the project since it started. But what if the Pepsi campaign is over? That stopped John. After all, no one should want to buy secondhand Coke. And that's 16 million bottles. In the end only blood loss. Huge real problem. Completely smashed John's dream of getting rich. He went back to school depressed. I can't think of a better way. But it's on his mind. Has been lingering. A once in a lifetime opportunity. Is it just like that? At this time. John accidentally. Opened a prize catalog of prize redemption activities. It turns out that the answer is on the surface of the mystery. That's how he hit the breaking point. Only $700,000. He's worth 32 million. Fighter take home. Do you dare to take advantage of such a huge bargain? Hey, someone dares. He picked from the Pepsi prize catalog. Found the fatal bug of this prize redemption. It turns out that points can be bought with money. And you can buy as much as you want. 10 cents per point. In other words, for $700,000. You can buy 7 million points. Enough to exchange for the legendary key. Spoon fighter. After discovering the vulnerability. John immediately notified his rich man Todd. The two roll up their sleeves and do it. Without further ado. Directly to best. Sent a check for $700,000. Clearly said to exchange for that fighter. Every day after that. John is at home wistful. Waiting for Beisher's response. After a long time. No news at all. What he doesn't know is. When PepsiCo received the check. The whole team was completely dumbfounded. Immediately convene an emergency meeting to discuss countermeasures. Because they all think. The ad was clearly a joke. How could anyone really want to exchange for a battle? Someone on the plane offered to take the check. Then send it directly to John. A fighter jet model used in an advertisement. Forget it. But the proposal was quickly rejected. Because it is clearly written in the advertisement that it is a fighter jet. Instead of a fighter model. Soon John received a reply from Pepsi. He carefully opened the envelope. There are only two Coke coupons in it. Yes Pepsi is planning to default. They first apologized. Then say the fighter jets in the ad. Just kidding. After seeing the reply. John and Todd are mad at who made a joke with you. They immediately hired a lawyer. Seriously drafted a letter and sent it to Pepsi. A fighter who strongly urges the other party to fulfill its promise quickly. Not long after. No prizes. He even waited for the court summons first. The Pepsi villains filed a lawsuit against John first. And John didn't talk nonsense to them. Take them to court. The parties are both plaintiffs and defendants. The funniest thing is. From now on. This ad for Pepsi has changed. From the original 7 million points to 700 million points. I added a line below to tease you. It seems to Todd. Pepsi apparently realized it made a mistake. It means they've lost their minds. That's the truth. Soon PepsiCo said. 
willing to use $1 million in compensation. Settle out of court with John. That's a lot of money. Although for Todd, $1 million is nothing. But for an ordinary college student like John, it's a chance to change his life. So Todd left the choice to John. Who knows when John goes back? He directly rejected by sure. Because what he wants is not $1 million, but a real fighter. At that moment, everyone in Pepsi was dumbfounded. John hired another. Lawyers who are more specialized in relevant areas. Prepare to face Pepsi in court. Lawyers are not ordinary. The first thing is to expose it. Support the media to guide the audience's public opinion. Sure enough, under his operation, it immediately detonated the topic of the whole city. With the ferment of public opinion, a consortium like PepsiCo are doing everything they can to stop John. Frequent appearances on various TV shows. At the same time, John's lawyer is already behind the scenes. Quietly launched an investigation into PepsiCo. Find they have the same ad. When playing over there in Canada, marked with a disclaimer. In the United States, there is no description at all. Pepsi knows clearly. Some people take fighter prizes for real. Existence intentionally leads viewers to believe it is true. Suspicion of expanding marketing influence. Besides, lawyer also found Pepsi a few years ago. There was a really big scandal in marketing. It even sparked a national unrest. You know, why Pepsi is so hated in the Philippines, is it? Here's another Pepsi marketing scandal. Because of a small cap. Actually sparked a national unrest in 1992. In order to seize the market, Pepsi launched a prize-winning activity in the Philippines. Each opened bottle cap are printed with a three-digit number corresponding to different bonuses. Similar in nature to buying a lottery ticket. Biggest prize up to 1 million pesos. Equivalent to 100 times the local wage level. As soon as the event is launched, Pepsi was snapped up by the whole people. Many families who are not rich hold the dream of getting rich. Start eating Coke. Pepsi's market share from the original 4%. Once soared to 20%. On the day of the draw, when the host on TV reads the number 349, the moment when the 1 million grand prize will be won, the whole Philippines is boiling. Potential winners. When I came to PepsiCo to claim the prize with the bottle cap, only to find out that the number of people who came to redeem the prize was as high as 400,000. In fact, there are more than 800,000 winning bottle caps. Or would this be downright silly? Because there should only be two bottle caps for 349 in the original plan. What the hell happened? Check it out. It was a computer error. Misprinted numbers. And Pepsi's handling method is also reckless. It is impossible to give all 1 million. Only part of the funds can be added. $18 average per share. Got the news. Angry crowd rushed to Pepsi Hall. Wreak havoc. Pushing trucks throwing rocks and even detonating Molotov cocktails. The situation was completely out of control. In the end, it was the government who finally settled the matter. But before that, several lives were lost. Since then the number 349 became a synonym for scammers in the Philippines. People have completely lost all trust in Pepsi. John's lawyer didn't know until he read the report. Pepsi really is a habitual offender. It's exactly the same as this fighter jet incident. To put pressure on Pepsi, they did several very provocative posters, threatening PepsiCo to make compensation as soon as possible, like Molotov cocktails made out of Pepsi, and use the Pepsi logo PS to show the bruises on the eyes, even going to put these ads opposite the Pepsi building, designed to discuss them, and the funds invested. John intends to let Todd continue funding, but hanging a billboard would cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, at least. Besides, if you do this, you will be sued by Pepsi 100% of the time. Coercing compensation by means of threats has deviated from Todd's original intention. Besides, it's really unnecessary to go to jail for this matter. So he finally decided to quit. Since then, in this outrageous case, the two sides began a protracted tug of war. Finally, after three years, the judge made the final verdict. The reality is always so cruel. John, they lost the case. Didn't get a penny in the end. The reason for the judge's decision was that no rational person would consider that ad credible. For such a result, John actually expected that. Pass. He always felt that he was the one who really took the right. From the long-tenured federal judge's perspective, it may not have seemed like a legitimate offer. But I can tell you, millions of my peers saw the commercial and thought it was an offer. John's life gradually returned to peace. But the impact of this case continues. He was written into the textbook. Become a classic case of the boundaries of contract law. The story of this documentary also ends here. Pepsi looks like it's winning the lawsuit, but also lost the trust of the public. Maybe it's because of the many times. A similar marketing scandal arose. To this day, they're fighting Coca-Cola. Still at a disadvantage. Although John has been entangled with Pepsi for many years. But in fact he has been. It's all about Pepsi. Pepsi thought he was only in it for the money. John knows it's not all about the money. He's more like a dream. This is why he resolutely refused. The reason for the $1 million settlement. John is like the boy who slays the dragon. If it has been decided that the target is a dragon, even if you are going to die, must also die on the way to slay the dragon. Well, today's story ends here. I am Salted Fish. If you have a story you want to hear, movie you want to watch, please let me know. I will tell you. See you next time. Bye.